Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Daisy tutorial. Now some of you guys um, requested something to talk about and it's going to be maps, losing zombies and finding a gun at ease. Well let's get started on that after I tell you what I found in the past six days of pure survival. Um, I mean with that six in-game days I've been playing for two weeks now without doing a video and I found something that might interest you and where was that guy again I was aiming at behind the tree ah yeah well I found a sniper rifle lucky for me so there is a ghillie suit yeah, I always wanted to, to find the ghillie suit and I found one in Cherno in the apartments at the hospital. Um, these apartments mostly spawn ghillies and such. So there will be the ghillie for you. Also, I got lucky and traded um, an M4 for an M107 with one of my fellow CQF mates named Man Possum. That is the second best sniper in the whole game. I will probably do a tutorial on zeroing out a sniper rifle later. I don't know. I found a rangefinder. A rangefinder is in fact a better um, binocular, but it gives you the range. As you can see on the bottom. Um, these bushes would be 460 meters away, so I would um, zero out my sniper to 400 and aim a bit higher to countermeasure the 16 meters more. Um, and I found night vision goggles. Well, it's day now, so they don't work pretty well, but I found them. Yeah, um, all in all, um, some morphine some painkillers, um, I have more morphine in my bag, blood bags, antibiotics. If your temperature drops lower than 32 I guess um, you can get sick and that is not what we want. Yeah, um, a map, a hatchet, military flashlights, all that kind of stuff and it's pretty cool. So let's get on to it. Um, you asked me how to uh, maneuver with the map um, that applies to the offline map and the in-game map what I'm going to talk about now I'm at the northwest airfield at the southern barracks that would be around here and if I want to go to Vibor I know I have to go this road and when it splits up into two I have to go right and go right to uh, Vibor if I want to get to Starry Sobo from here, we could either walk around the airfield some more, get to this little road, pass it and go to the bigger road, going to Cabanino and going southeast with our compass to Starry Sobo, or we could just find the second road to get to Cabanino 2 or follow these right to Novi Sobor and from Novi Sobor to Starry Sobor. The essential part of <coughs> maneuvering with a map is um, you don't need to know every rock in the game, you just have to find out where you are. We would be around this. We know there is this road so we have to follow it and look out for clues like this uh, split up on the road or other, thing, other things to see Vibor or this um, this this little lake here all indicators for where we are going so if you navigate with a map you can just um, pick some points here and use them to navigate through the map that is the essential part of navigating without any um, points on the map itself also you can do this with the offline map uh, since we are not um, indicated here as a dot or something you can uh, just use the offline map and search for these clues I mentioned and make your way to any town you want. The second part is on some servers there are waypoints you can um, place on the map. 
if we want to go to Pruitt here, to the to this lake, um, we just zoom in, press left shift and left click, and you see we have a marker here. Nobody else can see that. And when we close the map, we have an indicator on the screen that tells us our point is 2,074 meters away. So we just have to follow um, this indicator. That might be a bit um, dangerous because you can encounter deer stands, towns and um, simply get into funny situations on the double. So um, placing such waypoints is um, the best thing to navigate because you don't have to look at the map all the time but you can encounter situ situations where you might not get out of so easily. Well, that's it for navigation. I hope every um, everything is clear now. Um, losing zombies. I will explain that not by uh, material recorded. I will do this by just narrating it. Um, if you have a train of zombies behind you... Uh, well, let's see. Is that a barn? Yeah, I could show you. Uh, I think I can do that. So, here we are again, um, losing zombies. Well, losing zombies is quite easy if you have houses around. I don't see anybody around here. That's good, I guess. So, well, um, first of all, look at that big ass gun I have. Oh, yeah. Well, let's get on to the topic again. <laughs> I'm just bragging a bit. Um, if you're leading a trail of zombies, um, the basic part of losing them uh, easily is finding a house with an entrance on the one side and an exit on the other side. So, um, zombies are forced to walk slowly inside buildings. Um, going to crouch walk because I don't know if there's anybody around, so just give them the impression I'm such a pro. Alright, no zombies around, I don't hear anything. I hope you hear me over the um, game sound. Um, don't be irritated, I ate and drank something on the way here. So, um, if you walk in here with a trail of zombies around, let me just... Anybody here? Guess not. Um, you go in here and flee through the barn and out here and the zombies will have to stumble uh, slowly across this um, space here and when they come out you already hit the dirt and got away. That's simply losing uh, zombies. The other way around would be um, to get your sidearm out and shoot them all. You see um, 61 killed zombies mostly on the on the airfield because we aggroed a lot of them. So, um, evading zombies is not that hard. Um, best thing to do would be, and I guess you will say you don't say after I, I said it, uh, would be not to aggro, aggro um, in the first place. Well, get I get lucky. Mm, yeah, that's a full water bottle. That's good. Well, yeah, um, not aggroing them in the first place, but if you go in here and out there, you will be safe. Um, another part was to find a weapon without any, um, without any problems. Well, that's not that easy. Um, you can't just assume DayZ is a map, where, uh, a mod where you find a weapon easily and walk out of the, the game with the big ass guns without encountering anything. Um, other players will try to find the guns, other zombies will be around. So it's it's never less dangerous than, um, than walking around. If you have a gun and walk around it's 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 enough. Uh, it's, it's dangerous enough already and finding a gun is a bit more difficult because everyone tries to find them. My advice would be um, don't go to Cherno, don't go to Electro. Um, try to spawn at the coast near Berezino. Berezino is not that frequented and you can loot military loot from the tents next to Berezino. Maybe find an M16 that uh, would be the best weapon to start with or even an AK-74 Cobra. So um, my advice to find weapons easier 
and without the most danger um, don't go to Cherno, don't go to Electro try to find your weapon in Barazino or just go inland and look at these barns to find a Winchester or something else so um, I think that covers it mostly um, I'm hope I hope you are not too disappointed by the last part um, it's a dangerous game and it's dangerous to find weapons because they spawn in spots where everybody uh, would look so I guess finding your first weapon is the most difficult thing in the game and later on um, everything gets easier um, everything gets easier while you search for ammunition and so on well that concludes this tutorial um, there will be an announcement later this week I don't know exactly when but I think you will like it and I hope um, to see you again soon. Bye-bye.